So in this video, we're gonna look at the Sinstrom Deluge. We're gonna look how to sign different sections. You'll see here we have blue section, pink, orange, etc. And we're gonna find a way how we can use the Korg pad control, or you can use any external MIDI, it just has to be a MIDI note, to trigger any of these sections. So let's listen to the sections first. So we have, in here, we have that's MIDI 3, that's going to my Roland System 1. Actually, it's the Pro Mars plug out. And then we have drums from the Novation circuit. So I'm going to switch through. Okay, so I just have couple of different sounds in there just so you can hear some variations so these would be like parts of songs that you would can create with the song view okay so I already have a scene set up on the chord pad to control so I have different notes here assigned to MIDI channel I think 16 and what we're gonna do is just learn each one of these here to a specific pad you hold down learn and then you press the color, section color. In this case, I'm holding down the blue and the learn button. And we're just gonna press this pad because I want that to be assigned to it. And you'll see it starts to blink there. That means it's set to that. So if I press it, you're not gonna see anything change because we're already on it. If we're in a different song section, I press it and it snaps right to it. So let's do the same, learn on this one and we're gonna go to the next pad and so on learn and then this one learn this one and the final one learn on this and then that pad so what we can do now is we can press each pad and you'll see it'll switch right to that section very quickly so what this can be used for is if I hold down record and press song and say record to the arranger for example I don't have to scroll around and switch between these I can just press the pads on the pad control. So let's just do that just so you can illustrate how this works. So record song and so it's recording that first one and now we can switch. Let's go to the third one just to switch past that part and there it goes. It just switches at the end of the bar. So right now I'm just performing this song out in the way that I want to. Kind of almost like an improv. a couple of times and then let's go to the second one here go back to the first one and so on and again each section we're not limited by track length we can make it as long or as short as we want so that's really cool when you do assign it like this it's really nice to be able to switch to different sections. You can even do it while you're recording different things. So I can like switch to this section, add a new track and record say a synth in there and then just quickly switch to the next part. And that way you can go back and forth and see what parts work together. If you need to tweak one track just to fit in to the change, uh, we can do that. So this is just another way to extend using Deluge without having to go through the screens like this. You just have an external trigger and that's really nice if you want ease of use.